One day after the historic agreement between Iran and the six world powers, we go to Tehran to discuss this with Sadrk Ziba Kalaum, professor of political science at the University of Tehran. Mohammad Javad Zarif said this is a win-win agreement. Iranian extremists say that Iran has lost out on many points. Listen to me. The most important part of this agreement, or framework, is that Iran can continue its nuclear activities on one hand, and then build up trust with Europe and the US on the other. At the same time, I think that the Iranian people, in fact, the way they support this agreement, leaves the Iranian conservatives to have to try and prevent the final agreement, which is due in June. The Israeli government considers the agreement a threat to the safety of Israel, yet on Thursday night Obama presented it as ensuring world peace. What impact will this difference of opinion between the two allies have on the final deal expected at the end of June? ببینید خیلیا از اختلاف بین ایران و آمریکا از اختلاف ایران و بین ایران Well look at it like this There are a lot of countries who want and take satisfaction from the hostility between Iran and the US Israelis mainly Netanyahu hardliners and the Saudis سعودی ها و دیگران آقای نتانیاهو Israel and the Saudis are right to be worried because they've been using the Iranian nuclear program towards their own regional power interests. Last night was a historical and memorable one on the streets of Tehran. Many people went to welcome back Sarif at the airport this morning. How optimistic are you about a final nuclear agreement? I don't believe the Iranian conservatives, such as supporters of Ahmadinejad or the ultra-conservative political parties, can now prevent the progress of a final agreement. The majority of Iranian people, at least those who voted for President Hassan Rouhani, support this agreement. That's why, in my opinion, the future belongs to Iran's moderates, people who want to patch things up and have a peaceful and a respectful relationship with the US and the EU. با همین جمله شما گفتگو با دکتر صادق زیبا کلام استاد علوم سیاسی دانشگاه تهران رو از تهران به پایان می‌رسونیم متشکرم آقای دکتر خواهش می‌کنم